Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my January collective Disney haul, meaning everything I bought or acquired during the month of January that is Disney related is going into this video. This does not include any Disney subscription boxes that I opened and I'm keeping most of my P.O. Box Disney stuff out of here because I'm doing my P.O. Box videos separately now, I think. But this video would include things like stuff I got from Shop Disney or Box Lunch or Small Shops. It also includes pin trades and pin purchases and I have to be honest this is kind of a pin heavy video I definitely went pin crazy in the month of January I kind of do that like every month but there's a lot of pins I'm saving my pins to the end so if you're not a pin person you can kind of like click out at that point if you're just like not into Disney pins but I know a lot of you are so I hope you enjoy this haul because there's some really fun stuff that is not pins and then there's a lot of really awesome pins at the end so I'm going to go ahead and lead off with the one small small shop Disney item that I purchased this month. Honestly, coming off of the holidays, I tried really hard to just like hold off on buying things that I wanted and I was pretty good. Um, but I did buy one small shop thing and that is actually the ears that I am wearing on my head. These are Mary Poppins themed ears and I've been looking for like the perfect Mary Poppins ears for a long time and I finally found them. These ears that I'm wearing, I actually saw on another YouTube friend of mine's head, Daphne from Thomas Ever After. So thanks Daphne for the recommendation and um, I went and found these on Etsy and I just had to pick them up. So here is a close-up of this amazing pair of ears. It kind of showcases several of Mary Poppins looks. Um, this is kind of the chim chim tree um, chimney sweep scene outfit. In the middle there's her carpet bag bow. There's a spoonful of sugar embellishing that and then over here this piece is reminiscent of her jolly holiday dress. So it's really creative and it kind of encompasses the whole movie and everything I love about the character of Mary Poppins. And I love when ear makers do creative things with the backs of the ears. So on the other side you can see her umbrella on one side and a quote, practically perfect in every way on the other side. So I will be in Disney World next week and I'm very excited to be wearing these ears in the parks. I hope I will run into Mary Poppins either in Magic Kingdom or Epcot and I can get a picture while I'm wearing these ears. These ears were made by an Etsy shop called Once Upon a Stitch and I will leave a link to Once Upon a Stitch down below. This was my first time ordering from Once Upon a Stitch and honestly I was very impressed with both the quality of the ears and the packaging. They just came really beautifully packaged. I wish I kept it but, um, but I didn't because I just have boxes everywhere in my house right now. Um, but honestly, highly recommend this Shop. really impressed with these ears and um, like I said I'll, I'll link down below. Next I'd like to jump into a couple of things that I bought from the Disney store this month. Honestly I like I said I really tried to hold off on my shopping after the holidays but I did want to get in a little bit on the after Christmas Disney sale so I really didn't get very many things but I did find a few things that I'm excited to show you. I didn't even order these online I actually went in person to the Disney store at the Mall of America to to get this stuff. So the first thing I picked up from the Disney store is this holiday Marie plush, Marie from the Aristocats, and she's wearing a little holiday beret with a plaid bow, and then she's got a big bow um, on the back. She's really soft and fluffy, and I was so excited to see this in the store because I had seen this online, like back in October or November, and I just kind of like, I didn't buy it because I thought, well, it's going to go on sale, and I'll get it later, um, and then it honestly just disappeared from the site. Like, it must have sold out, or just I couldn't find it anymore, and I was kind of bumming because I'm Disney Kitty and this is a Christmas Disney Kitty and I, I really wanted to have it but I, I was kind of holding out for a sale. And I went to my local Disney store the day after Christmas and there was literally just one of these. This was the only Christmas Marie plush that there was. There was no tag on her. She was just kind of sitting on a shelf by herself looking really lonely and neglected. And I asked the cast member how much she was and like no one could find the tag or the price for her. And they like were calling other Disney stores and nobody had her in stock and like nobody knew. So the lady just gave her to me for 10 bucks and I took her home and it was like the best Disney Christmas plush deal I, I could have hoped for. So I'm super excited about this. She's super soft. I, I only wish that I could put it out now um, instead of having to wait till next Christmas. Although I was kind of thinking like she could be Valentine's-y, so maybe I'll put her out for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Is that cheating? I don't know. The only other on sale Christmas thing that I picked up from the Disney store was this ornament. And as you can see, this is Anna from Frozen. And I'm a really big fan of Anna. I talk about this occasionally on my channel that if I had to pick Team Anna or Team Elsa, I'm totally Anna all the way. I feel like that story is really about her. Like she's the heart of Frozen to me. And I thought 
this was a totally beautiful ornament. Um, her dress is a little bit crooked right here, but I love all the glitter. I love her beautiful snowball, and I just think, like, I don't know. I had to have this, and it was on sale, like, super cheap, like, five bucks or something. So I'm excited to put this on my Disney tree next year. Okay, this next thing is actually the reason I left my house and went to the mall the week after Christmas, which I normally would avoid at all costs because I'm just, I'm not a mall person, first of all. And secondly, after Christmas, there's all the sales and the mall is just crazy and full of people trying to get a good deal. And I would honestly rather do pretty much anything else than be in a shopping mall uh, during Christmas week. But I knew that these had come out and now they're available everywhere and online, of course, but I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. But I had to get this. This is a set of three Zootopia emoji Disney pins. And Zootopia is my main pin collection, especially Judy Hopps. And I just wanted to make sure that no matter what, I would not miss out on these. Honestly, they're really tiny and I don't love the pins themselves but I do like that the faces move, like their little emotions change. I'm not quite sure what you call that, but you can see Judy in the middle, like she's got her eyes closed and she's smiling and then she's kind of wide-eyed and staring. Um, so there's Judy and then there's Nick Wilde and Flash the Sloth, so had to get these. And the final thing I picked up at the Disney store is this. This is the Snow White Ufufi, or Ufufi, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, I don't know, I'm a Snow White fan and I just find these Ufufis to be super, super adorable. Um, I don't know, I just, it was an impulse buy. And then of course, I get that mailer from Japan, the Tokyo Kawaii Club, and he sent me one of these and I'm actually having I haven't compared the two to see if they're any different. All I know is that this one smells much more strongly than the Japan one does. I'm, I'm kind of meh about the smell, so I might put this into my winter giveaway and keep the Japanese one. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with her yet, but total impulse buy just because I love Snow White, and I was like, it's Snow White, I have to get it, um, because I'm crazy like that. While I was at the mall, I also headed over to the Box Lunch store. If you haven't heard of Box Lunch, you've got to check it out right now. They've got tons of amazing Disney stuff. They also have Harry Potter stuff and just cool stuff from all different kinds of fandoms. If you're nerdy and you like Disney or other nerdy fun things, like check out boxlunch.com. They actually do have a brick and mortar store. There is one in my local mall, which happens to be the Mall of America, the most obnoxious mall in the world. Um, but I walked over to that shop just to see if they had anything that was on sale um, or that I hadn't noticed on their website and I actually found a handful of things. So first I picked up this set of three Aristocats sibling pins. It's uh, Toulouse, Marie, and Berlioz. In case you're wondering, Berlioz is actually my favorite of the three cat siblings, um, but I like them all because I love Disney cats. Uh, but I had to get this and I had seen this online and for whatever reason I was just dragging my heels and then what happened? It disappeared from the website and I thought I was never gonna get it. However, when I went to the store after Christmas, they had these in a bin and they were a little bit on sale somewhat marked down, um, but I snapped them up because, hello, it's Disney Cats, and, um, and even little Berlioz is on there, and it's really hard to find pins of this guy. Also from the pin bin at Box Lunch, I got this set of three. It's Donald Duck's nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and they are dressed up for Halloween. I particularly like this one where he's dressed up as a little kitty cat, obviously, um, but I am hanging on to these for my October pin board this year, so they've got some time to wait before they come out, but I just thought they were really adorable. I love characters and costumes, and I had seen these on the website too, and for whatever reason, I didn't buy them, but I was able to get these somewhat on sale, so I just, I went for it. And the final pin from the Box Lunch pin bin that I picked up is this pin of Zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. I absolutely love Zero, and this pin actually glows in the dark, so I will be busting him out around Halloween time to put on my pin board, and I'm just a fan of this little Disney dog in general. I think he's my favorite Disney dog because he's actually a ghost and not a dog. The last things I got from Box Lunch were total impulse buys. They are these Snow White collection of figural keychains. They're blind bags, and I've never opened any blind bags except for pins before, but they were on sale, and I thought I would just open these up and show them on my channel, so I'm gonna do that for you right now because this is a first for me, and, and honestly probably a last because I'm not really a keychain person. I'm more of a pin person, but it was Snow White. They were on sale, and yada yada, so let me get my scissors, and we'll just see, we'll just see what we get. All right, so first things first, here's a look at the back at the options of keychains that you could get. I, of course, would love to get Snow White. I'm guessing that's probably a long shot, but I would love to get Snow White, the Queen. I would love to get Grumpy, Dopey, um, or Doc. But honestly, I don't know. I don't have high expectations, so I'm just gonna open them up. Okay, so here goes the first one. Well, I kind of failed at cutting it. Let's see who's in here comes in a little cardboard apparently. Oh look, okay, it's one that I wanted. It is Grumpy. He's really cute. These are bigger than I thought they would be actually. 
So there he is. He is grumpy. I'm super into his eyebrows. Um, this kind of reminds me of my husband, so I may pass it along to him, but grumpy is definitely one of my favorite dwarves. Okay, and now I'll open up blind bag number two. Like I said, I'm not really a keychain person, but it was, it was kind of fun. Oh, it's not Snow White though. It's a dwarf. I just can't figure out which one it is yet. Oh, it's definitely Sneezy. Okay, so here he is. He is getting ready to sneeze his little head off. It's actually quite cute. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I might throw this into a giveaway, but um, I don't know, they were, they were fun to open. And I'm actually kind of impressed with the quality of this. So there you go, guys. A little impromptu blind bag opening, and that was fun. I think I'm gonna keep this one and maybe give this one away. Okay, this next item is probably one of my favorite Disney items that I've ever purchased ever. I could not believe this existed when I saw it on Instagram, and as soon as I saw it, I went and did a bunch of research and like tracked it down and paid way too much money because it's exclusive to Japan. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I got here. This is the most amazing Judy Hopps action figure I have ever seen. Super realistic looking, and don't freak out when you see this, because it's, it's a little bit creepy when you first look at it, but there's Judy in the middle, and then she's got four different interchangeable faces. You can change her facial expression. Inside each face, the eyes are actually movable, so you can make her look in all different directions. There are several different shapes of detachable hands, and there's also her little carrot phone. Now, I know when you see it in the box, it looks a little bit like sci-fi creepy, but she is so poseable. Look at the back of this thing. So up here it shows like her various facial expressions that you can make her have. She looks exactly like she looks in the movie. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And then she's incredibly poseable. She can do all kinds of different things. She basically moves in every direction. And I cannot wait to take this out of the box and play with it. Seriously, I'm so excited about this. I might actually make like a separate mini bonus video just like opening this up and figuring out how it works. I'm not that advanced at toys, but I just, I cannot get over how realistic this action figure looks. Um, I did pay a little bit for it because it was, it was kind of hard to get a hold of and I think it's out of stock in a lot of places, but I'm the biggest Judy Hopps fan ever. I had to have this and I think she's going to be making several appearances on my Instagram in the near future because she's just so photogenic and she's so poseable and oh my gosh, this is, uh, I, I, I'm, I don't have words. It's just, it's so cool, such a cool toy. Okay, this next thing I wanna show you is something I received as a gift to my P.O. Box address from a subscriber. And normally I'm gonna hold these off to do my own separate P.O. Box video, but this thing I wanted to show you because I'm planning on using it for my Disney trip next week and I, I didn't wanna use it before I showed you it. So this is from a subscriber named Michelle in Maryland. And Michelle, I think, is a Jamberry wrap. They do the nail wraps, and I'm not like very talented at nails, but look at what she sent me. She sent me some pretty pink sparkly holographic ones, which I will use, but look at this, look at this, look at this. They're a little bit hard to see on camera, but it is Thumper-themed nail wraps. You can see his little face there. Um, and I am totally going to figure out how to apply these and wear these for my Disney trip next week. So thank you so much, Michelle. I am totally probably gonna fail at putting these on properly, but if I can get them on, they are gonna be like the icing on the cake of my, my Disney outfits at Disney World next week. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, I've never applied nail wraps before. I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to nails, but I'm so intrigued by this and I'm probably gonna screw it up, which is why I wanted to show you it before I totally ruin the wraps. But if I do a manicure with these and it actually works out, I will show you like on my Instagram how the, how the finished product turned out. So again, thanks Michelle, super awesome present. I love Thumper. I love that it's like wintry Thumper because it's, it's still winter here. Um, um, and I'm totally wearing these in Disney next week. Yay! I'm almost to the pin exclusive portion of this video, but before I jump into the ton of Disney pins that I acquired this month, um, I just want to show you this. These are actually Valentine's Day Tsum Tsum buttons, and they are available at Walgreens right now. I just went and picked up a bunch of these. I'm going to send them to like everybody I know for Valentine's Day. But they're super cute. It's $1.99 for a sheet of 12, and it's just got all these cute little Tsum Tsum characters kind of decked out all heart-like and Valentine's-y. And on the back, there's a little to and from, so like if you're in school, you could give these to your classmates. Um, I'm very much out of school, but I'm still going to be giving these to, to various people. They'll probably look at me like I'm insane, but um, I just thought these were so cute, super affordable. I'm gonna stick some of these on my Valentine's Day um, pin board as well. 
Alright, everything from this point in the video on will be Disney pins because that is the bulk of what I purchased and traded for and acquired this month. Um, possibly a little bit more pin heavy than previous months, but I wanted to get these in. Um, the first thing I want to show is this amazing set of Zootopia pins that are um, exclusive to Europe. I have been after these for a long time and I actually got them in a trade from my friend Caroline in Germany. So thank you Caroline for picking these up. You can see at the top of the box that it actually says Zootropolis and not Zootopia. And that's because apparently in Europe there is actually a zoo called Zootopia. So they had to name the film something else. These pins are limited edition of 800 and inside you can see there is Judy, my hero, on her police badge. There is Mr. Big, the kind of mob boss vole. Try saying mob boss vole three times fast. Um, and then behind him are his polar bear bodyguards. I love this pin, super cool pin. And then over here there is Nick Wilde and uh, Finnick and they are in front of a jumbo pop. So this is cute. I might put this on my Valentine's pin board because of the pink and the purple and because and it's Nick and I have a crush on him. Zootopia and also Snow White are my main Disney pin collections and I've been kind of looking for a way to get a hold of these so thank you so much again to Caroline for offering to, to trade. She gave me a really generous trade on this and I got them just yesterday and I'm really excited. These next two pins were gifts from one of my best friends, Pam. Pam was actually my college roommate and she's uh, a still a very dear friend today and we also go to Disney together every single year for her birthday. And she was in New York City over the holidays and she found these for me at the Disney store in in Times Square. So this first one here is Mickey and Minnie in Central Park. It says New York. It's in the shape of a big apple. And I absolutely love this. I lived in New York for several years. New York City is one of my favorite places on the planet. And I love to have a Disney Store New York exclusive pin. So super awesome. And the second one is a limited edition Mary Poppins Tsum Tsum pin. I believe this is also a Disney Store exclusive. I think they must have been released during D23. And you've got Bert, Mary, and one of the penguins from the Jolly Holiday scene. Super gorgeous pin, and you can see on Mary's um, hat shawl thing, it's kind of pearlescent, and there's actually little hidden Mickeys in there. I can't, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. So I love, love those. Thank you, Pam, if you're watching. This next pin was very kindly picked up for me by one of my subscribers, Darlene. She got this at the Disney Studio Store Hollywood. These pin releases are always kind of crazy, but I saw this and kind of wanted it. Let me show you a close-up. So this pin features Miko from Pocahontas. He's definitely one of my favorite Disney animals from one of my favorite Disney movies. And he is situated on kind of a watercolor paint palette and uh, canvas or sheet. And I just thought this was really cute and adorable. I I love the color scheme. I wasn't sure about these pins when I saw that they were coming out, but now that I've seen this in person, it's actually gorgeous and it's much bigger than I thought it would be. And I believe this one is limited edition of 300. And I'll also just share that Darlene tucked this little zap into my package. This is the couple's Aristocats pin from the mystery set. And she knows I love Disney cats. So that was a really nice gift to throw into my package. Thank you so much, Darlene. Next up I have a couple open edition pins that I bought from a really inexpensive pin sale on Facebook. They're just two pins that I kind of had had my eye on in the parks and I didn't want to pay full price but when I saw them on sale I, I grabbed them for my collection. So this first one is a Tower of Terror pin. Tower of Terror is my second favorite attraction at Disney World. I, it's, that's its claim to fame in my life. And um, I love this one because you've got like the little outline spooky silhouettes of Donald, Mickey, and Minnie and then you can pull them out and you can actually see so it moves it's kind of gimmicky and fun um, and I love that it features Donald as the bellhop because very often you'll see Goof, Goofy as the bellhop or I've seen Stitch as the bellhop but I love seeing Donald Donald's my favorite of the Fab Five and then I also grabbed this pin, which is Belle, uh, in a very sparkly version of her yellow ball gown, and she's reading a book. Normally I only collect blue dress Belle, I love her in her village dress, but I had to grab this one because she's reading in it, and I'm a big reader and a big book lover, and I just thought this was kind of a special pin. It just, you know, it reminds me of me, reading. <laughs> and finally, now that the lighting has gotten extra weird in this room because the sun is rising, like, right out my window, um, I will show you all of the pins that I traded for this month. I have always been kind of a pin collector, but I don't always do a lot of trading. Um, but I created a Facebook group to trade pins with you guys, and I had some great trades. Sorry about the light. Um, I'm going to fix it in a second. But I really did get a bunch of cool pins via trade this month, and I'm just going to run through them quickly. I'm not going to waste your time, but I just want to show you um, some of the awesome pins that I traded for. Ah, this lighting is just 
killing me. So again, almost all of these I got via trade, and I'll just run through them quickly. This is the Tiana Throne from the Princess Throne Royal Hall Mystery Pin Set. This here is the Tigger Chaser from the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween 2017 set. I've been looking for this for a long time, so thank you, Amy, for trading this to me. Um, this pin I actually got as a zap, meaning it was a gift, but it's adorable, and it's figment, and I'm totally putting him on my Valentine's Day pin board because he's so pinky and purpley here. Next I have three dwarves from the minecart set. These are actually the final three that I needed to complete the whole train, so I now have the completed set. So there's Doc, Grumpy, and Dopey. Thanks, ladies, that helped me complete my seven dwarves minecart set. This pin right here is from this month's Park Pack, which featured the film Fantasia. I did not receive this pin in my Park Pack. I got a different one, but I really wanted this one because it features the great conductor Leopold Stokowski, who was the conductor of Fantasia, and he's obviously shaking Mickey's hand. This is a scene in the Fantasia film. And my husband and I have a special collection to classical music. Well, my husband is a classical violinist, and he plays in a major symphony orchestra, and I just really wanted this one because there's not a lot of classical music Disney pins out there, so um, thank you to Amy who traded this to me. It meant a lot, so I super appreciate that. Right here I have two amazing Snow White pins that I was able to trade for on my group. This one is a Snow White and the Huntsman kind of poster pin. It's super freaky. I'm not sure what the origin of this pin was, but I cannot wait to put it up on my Halloween pin board and also to add it to my bigger Snow White collection. And then this one, you guys, this is just stunning. It's Snow White in her work clothes. I think I might start going out of my way to find more Snow White, like in her rags and, and peasant clothes, but it's just beautiful. So um, older pin, a rack pin from the early 2000s. Down here we have another older rack pin. This is Figaro, and you can kind of see his like behind. It's, it's a funny pose for him, and um, it's an older, harder to find pin. So really happy to have this for my Disney cat collection. One of the girls on the group, Katie, sent these to me just as a little gift to cheer me up because I had to cancel my, my Disneyland trip, which is what I was supposed to be doing right now. Um, and she just sent me these as like a little pick me up. So thank you. She knows I love White Rabbit especially. So happy to have those in my collection. Right here is the Belle in her blue dress uh, film strip from the Disney Films current collection. I collect Belle in the blue dress, so I was really happy to get a hold of this one. And then right here in the center, this is the Eeyore Popcorn Pretzels pin from the recent Hong Kong Disneyland set. I'm a huge fan of Eeyore. It's a gorgeous pin. And someone that watches my channel, Michael, actually reached out to me on Instagram to trade for this. And not only did he send me this, but he sent me the little Alice and also the cute Tigger pin as extras, as little zaps. So thank you, Michael, if you're watching. But wait, there's more. <laughs> On this side, I have two of the Hong Kong Disneyland teacup pins. So there's Alice in her teacup and Gelatoni, who I just love, in his little teacup. Next to that, I have the Todd and Copper pin from the BFF's mystery set. I love The Fox and the Hound. It's one of my favorite kind of underrated Disney movies. It makes me cry my eyes out, so really happy to have this. I just have a really small side collection of Todd and Copper, but I wanted to have that one for sure. Underneath that are two pins from the Kingdom of Cute mystery set. So I now have six of the eight Kingdom of Cute pins. I still need the teacup and the Dole Whip. Um, and then right here I've got the People Mover and also the Jungle Cruise. So just two more to go, teacup and Dole Whip. Here I have Sven from the Frozen mystery set that came out this past fall. He's really adorable. I love that his antlers go out past the rest of the pin. And this actually was really hard to find. I opened quite a few of these Frozen boxes, but Sven and Anna, who are like my two favorite characters in Frozen, um, have been the hardest to find. So I was happy to have him. Underneath that, I have the Gelatoni Lollipop. This is from the Hong Kong Disneyland Lollipop mystery set. I'm a big fan of Gelatoni, so happy to have this in my little collection. Next, I have a couple of Tiki Room pins because I've decided I'm going to start a side collection of Tiki Room because I have no self-control and I love the Tiki Room. Um, and this one is from Park Pack, uh, a previous iteration of the Park Pack subscription, which I didn't get. There's several different variations on this and I'd like to get them all, but this is a start. And then next to it, I actually bought this on eBay, um, but this is the Walt's 100th birthday pin and it features a photo of Walt with the parrot um, animatronics. So I love this, I love that attraction. I know a lot of people don't like Tiki Room, but to me it's like, that's just classic and, and one of my favorites. 
And then finally down here I have these three Winnie the Pooh and Friends. I did not trade for them. I bought them pretty inexpensively um, from an online pin group. And I just love seasonal Winnie the Pooh pins. I'm obsessed. So I've got a Valentine's Day one here. That's going to go on my upcoming pin board. I've got a picnic one here and then kind of a springy one and this little pinwheel actually spins. So really happy with all of my pin acquisitions this month. Huh, okay, so that is everything for my January collective Disney haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was pin heavy, but I am heavy into pins right now, you guys. I can't help myself. Um, I'll leave links down below to like this shop, and I'll leave a link to boxlunch.com because if you've never checked out Box Lunch but you're a Disney fan, like you truly need to check it out. It's amazing. Um, thanks so much to everybody who sent me something or traded with me. If you are interested in checking out my Disney pin trading group on Facebook, I'll leave a link to that down below. I have a pin trading group and a chat group so if you're not into pins but you want to hang out with us and just talk about like random Disney stuff online um, I've got a group for that too so I'll link both my groups down below and that's all I have for today I appreciate you watching I'll be back soon with more videos please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Disney hauls and seeing Disney merch and also let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing from my January haul or what was your favorite Disney thing that you got during the month of January I'd love to know I try to read all the comments I I often reply back as, as much as I can so leave a comment and talk, talk to me please people okay really truly now that's it I'm done I hope you have a magical day and I will see you all real soon bye